Look at these two salties here. I'm only about 10 meters from one. The other one's probably 15 meters away. Sitting there sunning themselves on the bank. There's another one out there. Never see that fella. Wow, well, look at this. I've just seen a sea eagle fly away with half a goose and it dropped it and a crocodile's come up straight away. He's over near and over here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Let's see if he'll go in and get it. There he goes, got it. Oh. Look at that. Here comes the sea eagle. Home delivery. Oh, it might be that one. There's two of them. How's that for takeaway service for the old crocodile? <laughs> can hear them squawking up there. They're not happy. And he's not going to give it back. There he is. Oh no, he's still chewing. There you can hear the bones crunching. It goes to show you've just got to watch out here everywhere you go. I couldn't see it when I walked down to the river here. There wasn't a crocodile to be seen as soon as that uh, eagle dropped that goose. He just come up out of nowhere. They're always watching, always waiting. So this video, we're back out in um, remote Arnhem land again. I've come out to uh, see if there's any crocs around and hopefully barramundi. So I only just pulled up here at the river. We've seen a croc already, so that's a great start. Um, oh, there's another croc. I can see another one down here. He's coming this way. He's probably seen the commotion up here. So we might get, get to uh, film that in a sec too, hopefully. But um, yeah, I just want to give a shout out to the residents down there at Lodges on George uh, and the nursing home at Brisbane. Hope you are, are all well and um, g'day uh, from the Northern Territory. Uh, hope you enjoy this video and yeah, all the best. And also to my god daughter, Nova, love you. Love you lots. All right, so this croc's coming up now. He actually looks bigger than this one over here that ate that goose. It's still there. Ah, uh, they've both gone under now. There wouldn't have been much of that uh, goose left anyway. That was pretty cool though, to see that straight away. All right, I'm gonna grab the fishing gear now. I'll head up here and see if we can um, see some more crocs and catch a couple of barra. Fingers crossed. All right, I'm just going to make my way up this um, dry riverbed here. It's pretty tough going because it's sandy. But up here, I sent the drone up. About a K, a bit less than a K up here. There's a couple of water holes, isolated water holes. So. I'll have a bit of a flick in there and see if there's not a few barramundi. Look at these beautiful big sandstone rock formations here, just sculpted by the wind and elements and time. Beautiful. There could even be a water hole over here. Hopefully we can have a flick here. It's not the one I've seen. It's another one half a day up further. But there could be one here. I've 
bit of a flick here. See if there's any barra kicking around here. Well, it's so hard to sneak up on them. Here we go, here it is here. Over there. Well, so cool. He was just sitting here and right up here on the bank. You can see where they've been sitting here everywhere. But this guy, look at his marks here. It's his belly pattern there. All through here. He's actually sitting in here. Alright, I'll have a couple of flicks and see if there's any barrow around. Look at that, I just want to get to that beach there. It's real shallow there. But I'll have to go right up and around. Because those big salties are in there. See all the croc slides here. Another slide where he's come up, laid up in the trees up there. Look at the waterhole there, it's just beautiful. It's like a, a little oasis, there's beautiful um, rock escarpments there. Jeez, I'd love to get up in those caves and have a look. But you'd be forgiven for thinking you could go in there for a quick dip to cool off. If you did, it'd probably be the last dip you ever took. It's tempting, isn't it? Like. If you, if you didn't know there was crocs here and it'd be such a nice place to swim but yeah highly ill-advised that's magic though look at this i've walked back up in the bush there fair way and look this is fresh as this croc come from up there somewhere and headed back down through there Still following that croc. That's really fresh. It's probably one of those ones that was down in there. But let's just follow it and see where it came from. See how fresh it is. Oh yeah, there's another body of water just here. That's where he's come up out of this body of water. And headed right down there through the bush where I just had a fish really recently that was either this morning or last night there's another one where he's come out of this body of water headed down there to that one then to the next one oh, geez, I hope we're lucky enough to see some more up in here I'd love to see a monster Oh, there goes a croc there, little one, tiny one. It's coming back towards the shore. 
Now he's gone. March flies, flies are actually smashing me today. Um, look at this, I thought I would have got a barrier in here. I've had a few flicks here along those um, the edge of those bushes there in the pandanus. Over in here. A uh, long tom hit me, or oh, take the lure, but no barrier yet. But check out these sandstone escarpments, they always blow my mind. This See where they've set up here. These crocs. About a five metre drop down to the water. They've been up underneath. Look. That's where they've climbed up. In here. see salties everywhere there's a massive one coming up um, coming downstream here now one's just come off up in front of me here spun back around this boy here there's one out there there's two out there and there's a huge one here so they'll, they'll sit there now and wait for the mullet to come upstream with the tide another fish and then they foam they make a funnel out of their legs here's another one just popped up right in front of me they'll make a funnel out of their legs and funnel the fish into their mouth mate that guy out in the middle he's a beauty here's some more uh, isolated wa water holes up here so um, yeah I haven't had any luck with the barrier yet so fingers crossed there's some up here and hopefully a few more crocs will be good there's definitely crocs here too look where they slide up out of that water hole and go across here see their slides over here Down through here. Yeah, down into this pond. Look at that. I didn't even see it. I was just heading straight towards the buffalo. It's just standing there looking at me. There it goes. Gave me a big snort and off he went. But he stopped for another look.
Okay, so up ahead of me here, there's a heap of buffalo wallowing in a water hole here. I'll see how close I can get to them. These guys are the these are the guys I fear the most out here in the bush. The crocs are scary, but at least you know where they are. They're down in the water and if they are in the bush it's not too far back and if they come running through the scrub it's not to get you, it's to get to the water, you know, but these fellas here, the buffalo, they could be anywhere. Like I was walking to that guy there before, straight at him, he was 40 metres straight in front of me. And I was just having a fish there before. Heard a grunt and he was behind me up on a cliff. A bit of an embankment, he couldn't get me unless he comes screaming down the bank, but yeah, you gotta be so careful of those buffalo. So I'm downwind, which is good. See how close we can get. Yeah, wow, well, you can really smell these guys. I'm downwind. I don't know, 80 metres or something of them. And you can smell real strong gamey smell here. a fair few. I've just got to be careful there's no stragglers here hiding in the scrub. So far, no good with the uh, barramundi. Um, I thought I would have had a couple by now, but that's right, that's just the nature of fishing. So, I might follow a few of these um, buffalo trails now, head back to the main stream. You can see these rub marks on these trees here with the buffalo swipe them with their sides as they go through. Another one here. Just about ring bark this one. It's getting pretty warm up here. Taking me time then. That croc was right up on the bank. I spooked him back in. That tide's dropped. There he is, going back in there. The tide's um, heading back out again. Let's have a look and see where that croc was coming. He was away up here on the bank too. Have a look at his slide. There he is there. That's where he got to and I spooked him. Okay, 
there's a huge croc right there. big he is but you'd have to say he's close to five meters he's a big boy